So how does the predator prey simulation work? Well, all of these values up here are simply numbers that you're starting with. This is setting up the initial values, and then when we get down to the actual simulation down below here, this is setting up the various sampling, how many of each animal there are, and where they're located in an X and Y coordinate grid. So every one of these things has an X and Y spot that's in the screen. The coloring of them, the radius of them, we have a list of all of the little ball objects that we're drawing and their velocities and acceleration. So when we first set up, we set up all of those various data structures. We add in a certain number of predators, we add in a certain number of prey. And then when we're drawing, we basically take one step of time, whatever that means. It's kind of an abstract idea. We go grab each of the balls representing the prey and the predators. So right here, the prey give birth, so we basically have a chance for that to, if they have been alive for a certain amount of time, they create a new prey object. The predators, if they've been alive for a certain amount of time, they give birth to another predator object. We draw all the predators, we draw all the prey, and then we check to see if the predators die from hunger. Then we check to see if they're close enough to kill the prey. So by the way, this distance here is the Pythagorean theorem for those of you that do enjoy math. Then we actually go down here to where the graph is drawn, and this is basically checking the sampling of all of the different prey and predators, just counting up how many there are, and then putting a dot in that spot on the graph. Some of these things are utility methods, so this creates a new ball object. This adjusts all their positions. There's a speed limit, adjusting the velocities, all of the physics that's involved with it. And then this is all the stuff that's actually involved in an actual ball object. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight into what's going on under the hood. It's basically just stepping through checking all of the positions, checking to see if they give birth or die, and then going into the next time step.